everybody, welcome back to Chatterbee. Today I'm just gonna share a very quick um, review and my purchase experience with this lovely bag of mine that I have recently purchased from Ferragamo Florence Creations Boutique because this bag I think it's most likely called the museum bag is only available in particular um, Ferragamo boutiques they are called the creation boutique so why is this actually most people call it the museum bag is because previously this is only available in the Florence Italy um, creation um, I would say the museum museum boutique so previously I think this is only sold in the museum because this is actually a remake of their very classic vintage piece that's why this is now called the museum bag and um, I think if you go to Xiao Hongshu, um, a China app, this is actually um, called the Bo Wu Guan Bao, which translates to museum bag. So if you if you type in make a search in Xiao Hongshu app on Bo Wu Guan Bao, this will actually pop up. And this is called the caramel color, I think so, or rather in Chinese it's called the Jiao Tang She. It's one of their most popular color for this museum bag. And, and I just want to thank Elena from the Florence Creation Boutique that actually helped me to get this completely brand new. So I'm, I'm very, very happy to get it. It came all sticker silt and um, the, the strap is all like, I'm, nobody touches this bag before, apart from my SA, who actually like, you know, take a video for me and show me how exactly she would send it to me. So Elena was super, super nice. She took a lot of photos of the different bags that she has from the boutique that she would like to recommend me. And unfortunately, uh, because she knows that I want things to be completely brand new, there are some bags that I like, for example, the Lady D clutch which is also another very popular vintage piece that was a remake from Ferragamo um, that um, Lady Diana, um, Princess Diana used to use it um, when she go out um, and that piece didn't came brand new in the color that I wanted so I have got to wait for that piece then no problem at all and um, just want to say that this actually retails for Euro 1490 so you can actually um, get it from the boutique or I would love to help anybody who is keen in this bag to get it but of course you guys have to pay for the tax when it reaches you and all those things yep but um, I, I just love this so much it is actually a very professional bag it is a little bit weighty alright but so let's go ahead and talk about the bag it actually came in smooth calf leather the vintage um, actually came in box but this is a remake so it actually came with smooth cast leather it's very structured it came with two gazettes um, there's no back pocket there are four feet on the bottom and on the top um, there is this part where you can put the strap and it is also very pretty it actually came in the Gancini style Gancini lock style and um, how you actually put this uh, strap on is also very unique you actually push this up I am not sure if you can see it clearly you push it up then this thing come out can you see that up and down up and down initially I didn't know how to actually put the strap on but um, now I do it's pretty easy so it's very cute the Ferragamo strap has the Ferragamo um, embossed there as well and on this part, it actually came with the iconic, um, this Veragamo, um logo that is the opening closure and um, a Veragamo emboss here as well. So as you open it, on the top, there's actually um, made in Italy here and on the interior is two big compartments with a zipper compartment at the back and you have this um, tag here that actually tells you that this bag is only available for um, Ferragamo Creations Boutique so it's not like you can enter into any Ferragamo shops and actually get it so I'm really happy to get this at this this is one of the most popular color for this particular bag I think most people call it the museum bag so these are all the things that's inside and there's one zipper compartment and the zipper compartment actually has the um, on the zip it actually has the ferragamo um, things too ferragamo embossed too so this is it about the bag and we can talk about what is in my bag we will just show you guys what's in my bag now let's just fit the things in like you know my wallet 
on Crows. Packet of cigarettes. Some, you know, things. And then just, just put the things in. Some receipts. Cuts. I'll put the cuts inside the zipper compartment. Keys. The interior, uh, I think, is actually made in suede or, or like microfiber. It's just about it. Nothing very fancy. Packet of tissue paper and a lighter. So this is it. This is how it looks on the interior. And obviously, there's a lot of more rooms to spare. But I don't need to fit much more. So this um, is it. Let me share what does it comes with. It, because this is from the special Ferragamo Creation Boutique. So it came in a special color. A special color that um like you know the packaging which is like the gold gold paper bag shopping bag and the gold box as well the gold box it came with a ferragamo tag i and the care card and the stickles etc and the dust bag is also very cute it, it actually came it with the signature you know their logo their, their they are separate, separate Ferragamo, but it's in gold color as well. So this is actually very unique. We, I don't have this in Singapore and I couldn't get this from Singapore as well. I think the Creation Boutique in Asia, I think there is like Taipei 101, like this particular boutique in Taipei. So it's not like all Ferragamo has it. And I think China has a store as well. And I, I don't know which store exactly. And I know US has it as well. So, but we don't have it in Singapore definitely. So this. I'm so happy and glad to actually score this and get this. So it's definitely one of my better purchase. And you guys can see um, how it looks on me. I just feel that this strap is unadjustable. It's definitely removable, but it's a little bit long for Asians for shoulder carry. So you guys can see that if I want to shoulder carry it, it's really too long. It falls below my... It falls it's at my hip, so it's kind of too long now as a shoulder carry. You can see it's way, way too long. But if I do a crossbody, it's kind of just nice. If it's crossbody, it's just, it's just nice. But usually I hand help my back or like put it over my wrist. So I have no problem with that. So yeah, this is the small size. Um, there are actually a bigger size for it. Uh, the bigger size actually came with the back pocket, but this small size honestly is big enough for me and it is pretty weighty after I put my things inside and uh, due to the hardware and the structureness of the bag, it's, it's really very pretty. Um, if you guys wanna see what I fit inside my bag, I have the items stated here. Um, and a video as well to show you what I fit inside my bag. Overall, I do like this purchase. It's definitely one of the very affordable purchase and a very, very um, popular bag and something that is worth keeping and staying with me for a long, long time. So thank you very much for watching Channel B. Please remember to like and subscribe to our videos. Bye!